Wasps. I'm not reading your poem. No. <laughs> but somebody just said, At Man and the Wasp is so shirt. I assume he means shit. Now, that is an interesting comment because I think it's like me. I don't think it was like it was a 6 to 7.5 out of 10 for me. I, I didn't. Yeah, I didn't think it was bad. It wasn't impressive, though. It, it wasn't great. I, I've never like we talked about this going in. I was never I'm not a really big Ant-Man fan. Yeah, you didn't care that much yeah. about the first one. I did like with. the uh, I believe my comment though. was this is my Han Solo of the Marvel Universe. <laughs> like it's like eh. I did like the Anthony names in it. That's very fun for me. You know, Antonio Gonzalez. First one was Ant Oni. Yeah, that was fun. That's, but yeah. other than that, I think it was. Yeah, it was like it was just mediocre. I mean, the good parts of it was CGI, the suit, uh, Evangel- Evangelina, Evangeline Lily, Evangeline L- Lily, highlight of the movie. Yeah, I thought she was the best. I, I thought the females were the highlight of the movie. I didn't care one. for yeah. Ghost. You care for? I did not care for Ghost. I totally cared for Ghost. I thought she, I thought she was a good character. I I, I, uh, I cared for Ghost in a in actually a big way. I was I was rooting for her during this movie. I found Lawrence Fishburne was confused. <laughs> Like I just he he just was like yeah I'm uh, I I'm wish on your was... side nah maybe I'm on your side eh, now well, we're friends now we're not it I, was like, never really a side though I think he was more Lawrence Fishburne's character oh the guy from like Giant Man BBS. yeah no what who's Lawrence Fishburne who's that he was the, the he was professor the other Bill that was... oh yeah the guy from BVS yeah on other movies okay well that's yeah he's from BVS okay yeah. sure anyways most notable um, from yeah CSI I'm too. with you I think if they yeah he is from CSI yeah uh, also Boys yeah! in the Hood. Wrong one. Wrong one. But it felt so right. No. Um, so you you were, were you didn't like the flip flopping he did, or did no. you feel he was like on? Yeah, he didn't need to mind, be keep in mind that this much. Non spoiler. Right. Yeah. Yeah. No, but and and I'm just saying like his. his he was in the trailers. Yeah. Well, I know that's what I'm not saying that's just, I'm just saying keep in mind. Yeah. 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 I just I, I thought he was a weak character. Fair uh, enough. And like where there was potential for him to be a strong one, um, like working, you know, mm-hmm. like. Mm-hmm. Uh, against like you know other like guys like you know Rudd and Michael Douglas and Evangeline Lilly like they I, I thought his character could have been a little bit stronger like pick a position but anyway yeah, yeah. Anthony Ant Anthony yeah just Evangeline Lilly was the highlight mm-hmm. I want to see more of her uh her the suits were really good I like the suits yeah I liked Ant Man's one better in Civil War but it's pretty much the same thing as yeah, um yeah I, just finer m- minor tweaks i like the i like the the suit in this one just because it seemed a little cleaner the one in civil war and obviously the first one there was a lot going on like it yeah. was more detailed there was more depth there was definitely more depth in the color range but this one was just kind of clean sleek uh it almost kind of reminded me of the old school ant-man so it was kind of like bringing it back to that style so i thought that was cool yeah. also uh what's the mexican guy's name again the main one? Oh, Michael Pena. Michael Pena. I liked how they had him do his yeah. recap again. Of, well, they're not going. Like, they're not not going to do that. Yeah. That was one of the highlights of the first one. Yeah. I remember I saw memes going around saying people wanted him to do a recap of all the Marvel movies before Infinity War played, <laughs> which I thought would have been funny. But that would have been hilarious. That'd have been the longest recap, but he could do it. Oh yeah. Um. Yeah. Uh, villain wise. You said you didn't care for well, ghosts. There was like so many. It was like way too cluttered, as you said. We, we were talking about it earlier. It was yeah. cluttered, and I think. I think the one there was one I particular. I like humanized the villain though, like the main villain, Ghost. That's why I liked her so much. I I was I was totally invested, and I felt for her. And the actress that played her uh, brought out, I think, it just in her face the pain that yeah I I think she needed. That's what I really liked about her. And and like I said, I was actually rooting for her. We're not going to tell you obviously why, but yeah. I was rooting for her a lot because I'm like. She's she's got a point. Like I, yeah, you know. And and there was an interview with the actress, and I forget her her name. She was also in Ready Player One, um, and she was like, I never, I just didn't play this villain as a villain, which I didn't feel she really was a villain. She was more of she, a victim than a villain. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. A, yeah. a desperate victim. Yeah. Yeah. So I thought that was cool. Uh, I didn't care for um, the non superhuman or non superhero guys non super villain villain yeah there's another there's the other villain yeah. that just felt like he was there and somehow he was able to get away with all this stuff and it made up for some cool scenes yeah. um the one that you saw in the trailer with the knife and everything i thought was dope um there was a lot of other really cool stuff there but i just felt overall he just kind of showed up and i'm like what are you even doing here yeah like what what is your purpose 
at this point in time than to just add something extra. Yeah. It that was just, my issue. I think maybe what people would have thought was uh, um, similar to what, like, kind of our, what me and Anthony were talking about with Ghost was that the, the villain wasn't strong enough. So you had to bring in a, another vi- a villain. Yeah. And just to kind of make it look like. Also, like, there's no way that villain would even pose a threat in this scenario. Like, yeah. In any it scenario. Believe- it wasn't no believable. Yeah. No, exactly. n- nothing. Nothing whatsoever. Like, and it wasn't even. a man and a wasp can shrink down and just kick the shit out of people. And you're going to say like, they didn't stop. And like, you know what? Yeah. Let's just beat him up right now. Like, but if they yeah, did, if they did something similar to like, um, in Civil War. Yeah. That's with true. Zemo. It's going light to dark in the lights. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not too concerned about it. Like, whatever. Um, Is it going on? It's good there? It's fine there. Yeah. Um, what was I going to say? In Civil War, Zemo had no powers. Really, but yeah. in the movie, but he, but he was able to use uh, that that manipulation. Now the argument for that one is, well, his plan had to work out just right. But you know, while they're distracted with his stuff, he was able to do it. I don't yeah. know. But if they incorporated something similar to that to the human villain, then I think it might have been more interesting. But again, we had and they did say there was two specific storylines kind of going hand in hand with each other, and I felt that it ended. Like, it, it came together well. It just kind of got messy in the middle. So yeah. I understood where we started. It got messy in the middle for me. And then towards the end, I was like, okay, I also, liked how that happened. I like how it answers questions from Infinity War about certain people being missing in the movie and how they answered it pretty simply. Oh, yeah. About people being missing in <clears throat> Infinity War. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's what I'm saying. I just mm-hmm. think I liked it. Yeah. That's fair. That's fair. Um, and I would say it had one of the, aside from the Infinity War. Um, the Infinity War uh, credit. end credit scene yeah. with Nick Fury, which if you haven't seen it all by now, it's then what are you even doing months. here? Yeah, yeah. Um, this one was really cool. Yeah, I, I was I was expecting it, but then when it happened, I was just like, oh yeah, that was good. Yeah. That was real good. Oh no, yeah, I got spoiled for that. Yeah, I wasn't mad though because I actually was saying it the whole time, like this is how it's gonna end. You, d- yeah, I think you called it about five remember, uh, episodes ago. I remember Jesse was like looking at me because I, I told him like I know how the I know how it ends, and he was looking at me like all confused. And I just I remember he saw me put my hand to my head. He's like, and he looked at me and did the motion like he, just, he asked me, "Is this how it ends?" And I just didn't say anything, and he starts freaking out beside me. It was good. It was a really good ending for the thing. So now I get to. So it Arturo, you so. asked a question. We'll get back to you in a second though, because. N. George asked us something first, which is more non-spoilerish to answer. Yep. He says, "How did you guys feel about Ant? I assume he means Ant Man mm. and Ant Man and the Wasp. Was he nerfed? Not as good? Question mark. I kind of felt like he was a side character. I felt like the Wasp was actually even more of the main character. I mean, yeah, me too. I, I like he was he was just kind of he he just kind of fell ass backwards in it because he is Ant Man, um, and just kind of." almost being the audience as stupid as that sounds where he and and it was funny is that a lot of times when i was thinking things uh he was actually bringing it up in the dialogue oh really yeah like they're, they're just stuff like how did how did he get from here to here or whatever and he even he mentioned it a lot of times like there was there was a lot of lines that he had that was straight up just yeah this is exactly what i was thinking about in, in about things going on it's like how did this guy get here how did this happen how did that happen and he'd just say it so i, I felt kind of connected that way to him but to answer his question i guess i guess we were talking about this i do feel like they were nerfed because that no, that non-powered villain mm. should not have been as as big as a part as it should have been mm. like she had the chance to end it all when the scene happened yeah it was just kind of like no nah, i'm good well i guess never mind i remember now something happened in that scene where he got away I'm just saying, like, I feel like they could have ended it way quicker and it wasn't, like, believable. Right. But, yeah. No, I think they were nerfed a bit. Um, Wasp definitely wasn't. Wasp had some moves. Wasp was yeah. badass. Um, and and I think, again, and and she made, it like, just seemed like they were, especially with that, there's one particular scene where things were going on with his suit and stuff. And it, it was hilarious. I thought it was yeah. quite funny. Um, <laughs> but, again, it was another thing that they used to just kind of keep them on the side and so let's let the other story